Greetings everyone, Slizzle 466 here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the best day one wild Ashes of Outland decks to climb with. Now keep in mind that wild is typically a slower mode to adapt to new archetypes. We already have well established decks such as Quest Mage, Secret Mage, Odd Paladin, even Shaman to name a few. And something else to keep in mind is that Zephyrus the Great is currently bugged. It's not behaving the way it's supposed to. And so a lot of players are not running Reno decks because they want their Zephyrus to do the right thing. So, do, so keep in mind there aren't going to be any Reno decks in this video. So we start off with Demon Hunter. Uh, people were a little hesitant of whether this is going to be a good class or not in Wild. Turns out it's actually not bad at all. Uh, this is Odd Demon Hunter, and what the upgraded hero power gives you is you've still got your one mana hero power, but now you get plus two attack instead of plus one attack. So this is a very aggressive deck. It's kind of a similar build to an Odd Rogue in a way. Uh, looking at the early game cards, we've got Battle Fiend. It's a one mana 2-2 two, two demon. After your hero attacks, gain plus one attack. You've got Mana Burn. One mana spell, your opponent has two fewer mana crystals next turn. This lets you disrupt, slow down your opponent. Uh, consume magic, one mana spell, silence an enemy minion, outcast, draw a card. Very powerful spell. Um, if you're not familiar with how the outcast uh, mechanic works, if the card is in the leftmost or the rightmost part of your hand, then the effect gets triggered. Shadow Wolf Slayer is a 1 mana 2 1 demon. Battle Cry, give your hero plus 1 attack this turn. And we've got Crimson Seedrill Runner, 1 mana 2 1 outcast, draw a card. Moving on to the more mid range tools, we've got Ardrachi Warblades. It's a 3 mana 2 3 weapon with lifesteal, so this helps you just get some life back um, because you are using your face a lot to control the board with Demon Hunter. You've got Altruist the Outcast, 3 mana 3 2 Legendary. After you play the left or rightmost card in your hand, deal 1 damage to all enemies. So this helps you get some board control in the mid game if you've fallen behind a little bit. Glaivebound Adept, 5 mana, 7 4. Battlecry, if your hero attack this turn, deal 4 damage. So it's a board control tool. It can also sneak in lethal if you need to. But also, 7 attack is quite threatening. Sure, the 4 health is not a big deal, but if this, stick, if this sticks, that's a lot of damage. Metamorphosis. This is a 5 mana spell. Swap your hero power to deal 5 damage. After 2 uses, swap it back. So keep in mind, this is a 1 mana hero power. It's not upgraded because of Baku. It's just your nice deal 5 damage to whatever you want. Use it 2 times, and it goes back to your nice... Baku, plus two attack, hero power again. Skull of Gul'dan, five mana spell, draw three cards, outcast, reduce their cost by three. Holy, um, if you top deck this card, you're gonna be pretty happy. Uh, and War Glaives of Azanoth, five mana, three, four weapon. After attacking a minion, your hero may attack again. Now keep in mind that Demon Hunter can buff its hero's attack, whether it's the Hero Power, Battle Fiend, or Shadow Woof Slayer. So you can really clear the board. Sure, you take a lot of damage to the face, but it just helps you get board control, maybe to help your minions punch in for lethal. Then we got Priestess of Fury, 7 mana, 6, 7 demon. At the end of your turn, deal 6 damage randomly split among all enemies. So a 6-7 is difficult to deal with, it can value trade quite a few minions, and those extra pings, considering it's enemies, so that's also your opponent's face, very nice little late game tool. If you want something even more aggressive, uh, you can try uh, this aggro demon hunter list. So again, we've got the battle fiend, the consume magic, just for that early game, uh, you know, the early game pressure and silence if there's taunts or death rattles in the way. Uh, because we can now run any cards we want, we're not restricted to odd. We're running Umberwing, two mana, one, two weapon, battle cry, summon two, one, one, fell wings. Uh, because this deck has a lot more, you know, hitting, it's a lot more aggressive and you want more, much more board, you've got Setir Overseer, three mana, four, two demon, after your hero attacks, summon a two, two Satir. We have Kyan Sun Fury, 
four mana, three, five, charge. Blizzard don't print charge cards too much anymore, but this is a special one. All friendly attacks ignore taunt. So you might have some crazy board because this is a pirate deck, and then on turn four, you may just have lethal. You never know. Uh, we've got the Glaivebound Adept again, the Metamorphosis, the Skull of Gul'dan, which we saw in the Odd Demon Hunter. And then a nice little finisher here is Inner Demon. Eight mana, give your hero plus eight attack this turn. It's kind of like a Pyroblast in a way. As long as there's no taunt blocking you, it's a free eight damage to your opponent's face. Moving on to some other archetypes, Even Hunter. So Even Hunter, it's a deck that's been kind of floating around the tier three, tier four range for a while now. Uh, this is Danny Donuts list. Danny Donuts is part of Team One Trick. And he took a pretty standard Even Hunter list that people tend to use, but he put in the new Hunter secret pack tactics. When a friendly minion is attacked, summon a 3-3 copy. Now we're not trying to get some crazy um you know three three copy of a minion it's just a three three on the board and helps you apply some pressure might be nice to get it off a scientist maybe another face stalker but um or maybe even one of your um you know one of your zombies who knows but just gives you extra board for free which is very powerful and then there's my eve shadow song four mana four three legendary Battle cry, choose a minion, it goes dormant for two turns. This is a really powerful card. Uh, one big issue in Wild is Warlocks cheating out Void Lords on turn four. Well, you could silence the Void Lord, but then your opponent just plays their Carnivorous Cube and gets more Void Lords. This makes the Void Lord go away for a couple turns, and because of the aggression of this deck, it might just be enough to sneak in lethal. So I, re I really like this card in the deck. And I think we're going to see that card in a lot of decks. A another hunter list to check out is Duin's Big Priest. Duin also a member of Team One Trick. Uh, this is a list that he's been playing around with for a long time now. We also saw it in Standard uh, back in the day. But it has a new tool, Beastmaster Leerox. This is an 8 mana 5-5 five, five, battle cry, summon three beasts from your hand. So the reason it's called Big Beast Hunter is because you've got Kathrina, you've got Charge Devil Source, you've got beasts that you get off your Deathstalker Rexar, you've got your Wishwood Grizzly. And the nice thing about the Beastmaster Leerox is you can get copies of it through Stitch Tracker. So you can play it maybe a couple times to put pressure on your opponent. So this is a nice list if you want to have a little bit of fun with some Hunter. Uh, next list I want to look at, uh, this is my Quest Mage list. Um, I didn't really change much from uh, the Quest Mage that we've been featuring in the Tempest Storm Wild Meta Snapshot. Uh, one thing with Quest Mage is it has a flex slot, and that flex slot is Arcane Intellect. So some players like to remove a, the second Arcane Intellect, put in a Chen Vala, maybe put in a, a Vargoth. I put in an Evocation. Uh, Evocation is the new one mana legendary spell for Mage. Fill your hand with random spells. At the end of your turn, discard them. And at first, I didn't think it would be that good, to be honest, but I've been testing it on uh, the Asia server. Um, I pushed up to almost Diamond 1 with this list. And what's really nice is if your hand's kind of clunky and you just need to get your quest done, if you have, a, say, a Sorcerer's Apprentice and you play your Evocation, maybe you're on turn 4 or turn 5, there's a really good chance you're going to get your quest completed. Um, it's also great if, say, you're really desperate Maybe you top deck the evocation, you're up against a pirate warrior, and you just really desperately need a, uh, an ice block. Well, considering it fills your hand with those spells, you've got a relatively decent chance of getting it. So this is a nice little card. I wouldn't craft it yet, but if you happen to have it, try it out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. The last deck I want to look at is Major Tom's Cube Warlock. So 
This is, uh, again, a pretty normal looking cube warlock, nothing too fancy. It's got the albatrosses, it's got your demons. I specifically like these builds that don't run the Doom Guard. You really don't need the charge, it's more just about stalling with your Void Lords and your Malganus. But it's running a new card, Can Rathad Evenlock, 2 mana 3 2. Your demons cost one less, and the death rattle is to shuffle Canwithad Prime into your deck. Canwithad Prime, this is an 8 mana 7 6 demon with battle cry, summon 3 friendly minions that died this game. So it's kind of like a little mini Blood Reaver Gul'dan that you can get a little early. Uh, yes, it clutters up your demon res pool because it's just a generic 7 6, but again, it's just basically a way of getting kind of like a pseudo Blood Reaver Gul'dan, just gives the deck some extra power, not that it already didn't need any more power to begin with. If you want to try out any of the decks in this video, you'll find all the deck codes in the description below. If you want to support this channel, you can click that subscribe button, click that bell. We're really close to 3,000 subscribers now, and I appreciate all of your support. Until next time, hope to see you again. Also, Sluzzle said he's not playing any of these decks because they're all trash.